reaching into outer space and will take a ride in a new safety concept car loaded with $10 million worth of technology. All that next on Business Now. Welcome to Business Now. I'm Morris Jones. While high-tech horror stories abound in Silicon Valley, an amazing success story is unfolding here in Greater Washington. Business Now's Len Dybert reports on a company with incredible growth, fueled by scientists and engineers who believe what they're doing matters to the United States. The growth rate alone is enough to stop you in your tracks. A phenomenal 50,000% since 1994. However, QSS Group is driven not by desire for size, but a passion for quality. And it starts at the top with CEO Frank Islam, who's excited about his people. And my passion of satisfying the customer, and they have been very loyal to us. Understanding the customer needs and requirements, as well as the commitment of quality and services, those have been the major elements of our success. At its headquarters in Lama, Maryland, the plaques and awards are reminders that QSS consistently has been one of the region's fastest growing technology companies. This year, the firm was chosen for Washington Tech Wave Hall of Fame. That singles them out uh, as a unique company in the number of times that they've been on the Fast 50, and therefore, as a unique company like that, they've obviously shown very strong growth, very good customer relationships, and therefore, high quality people to do that. In order to accomplish this, we need to bring in into this organization top technology, people that are on top of their field uh, in engineering and science and electronics and computer science. Since its first $50,000 contract with NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, QSS has grown into a firm supporting federal contracts valued at more than $800 million. About 80% of the contracts are on an awards fee basis in which the company is judged on performance. The government gives us a score from zero to 100. Uh, right now, th those 80% contracts, we're averaging 93% award fee. And I think that's the key indicator for future performance. The company's Blue Ribbon customers include the Defense Threat Reduction Agency, NASA, NOAA, FDIC, and the Coast Guard. I think generally the Coast Guard is very happy with the performance. Uh, we're getting great reviews right now. The Coast Guard has been assigned a critical role in Homeland Security. And while the Coast Guard is helping protect the nation's 95,000 miles of shoreline, QSS is supporting 30 mission essential information systems for law enforcement, search and rescue, and safety. Under extreme deadline pressure, QSS modernized the Coast Guard information system on time and under budget. Our folks worked uh, literally uh, through the weekends, uh, nights and days, to get that application ready to replace it. Uh, because the people in the field needed that, uh, what we call the deck plate sailors, the folks that are out there that are doing the Coast Guard's work. The types of work we do matter. We are not working in some type of back room um, administration type of thing. We are working on some very significant programs. QSS calls such programs overpowering technical challenges, like space sails, the spacecraft of the future, or the next generation space telescope. Right now, we're designing the uh, command and data handling uh, electronics that will be on board the spacecraft, and will be uh, supporting all the instruments as well as the uh, spacecraft itself. Frank Islam launched QSS as an 8A minority firm. As it grew to 1,200 employees, he was recognized as the Maryland Entrepreneur of the Year, and he recognized the need to give back to the community. We need to create an environment that allows our children to excel. We need to build the future scientists and engineers. These children are hope of tomorrow. Working with NASA, QSS sponsored an experimental program with Duval High School students to send roaches into space on the 1998 flight when John Glenn returned to space. And Christmas comes in April for QSS employees to repair homes for disabled and needy families. When I was about to leave, he had a tear in his eye and he gave me a hug. And you can't buy that. That was, that was the biggest wow I've ever had. And that, that's what it's all about. And for QSS, it's about compassion, passion, and an entrepreneurial spirit. 
I'm Len Divert, Business Now. Frank Islam credits a remarkable management team for the company's success since leaving the 8A program. QSS is projecting revenue of about $200 million this year. Well, you won't find it in the showroom or cruising down the highway, but Volvo and Ford believe they've created the safe.